Sound speed. Marker. Action. Check, check. Check, one, two. Son of a Sound speed. Action. <sighs> and hello, everyone. I want to say thank you so much for joining us today for our Orca Day Breakdown at True Audio. We want to say thank you so much. We had a couple uh, issues just a moment ago, and I want to make sure that Marcus is with us while we were showing our intro commercial. He actually dropped out. Marcus, are you here? Hey, hey. Yeah, I'm back. All right, buddy. Got good. I want to make sure that you're good and everything is good. Guys, we have an incredible show today. If you don't know what the Orca Bag Breakdown Day is like, we are literally going to be going over every single audio bag that Orca makes. Is that right? Oh, yeah. We so, got the whole gambit here. Yeah, and if you'll notice, I've got a ton of stuff on my desk, including my notes here, but we've got a ton of different bags that you're going to notice behind me. They've got them all over, buried around the ground. I know that Marcus has some available where he is, and we're just going to start breaking them down. This is the video that you want to watch if you are interested. You've just bought a new recorder, and you're like, okay, I want to protect it. I want to put it in a bag that's going to help me in my career, and Orca Bags is a great solution for your bag needs. So we've got Marcus here and he's going to show us all of them. Which one do you want to start with? Man, so many goodies to pick from. Right. Um, let's go ahead and start with the 268. I think that'll be a good um, good baseline to kind of get everyone's feet wet with Orca. Awesome. Um, and in fact, so, this is part of the low profile bag collection. Is that correct? Yeah, that that's absolutely right. So uh, Orca has a low profile audio bag mixer bag collection that includes the 268, the 270, and the 272. And these are kind of just meant to be, uh, they're ideal mainly for field recording, but something that's got a really small footprint that doesn't really, it's not going to be bumping into things and you kind of keep your mixer nice and close to your body with not too many extra mix uh, transmitters or any additional accessories. What's awesome about the 268 is it actually provides a little bit of space for um, any, for uh, if you want to throw in an M2D2 uh, extra battery, um, or, uh, you, you, but it's mainly designed for the F6. Um, so it's got a lot of the same uh, features of uh, the main Orca bags where you have accessibility from all different points of uh, access from your bag. You can access from the top access from the sides, underneath. Uh, it's got a simple zipping uh, uh, door flap that allows you to reach your mixer for any kind of cable arrangements, battery rearrangements, or any kind of um, height adjustments you want to make inside your actual mixer bag. Now, this, um, this bag is very similar to the 270. Is that correct? Just in general? Yeah. In general, the low-profile audio mixer collection has a very similar design. So what you're looking at with the 268 there is very similar to what you're going to get with the 270. This is the 270 and the 272 everyone. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and the 272. Yeah. Okay, so while mm -hmm. you're describing these, since I have this one on my desk, I can show people how it opens. If we want to go to the overhead cam, I can show people how it opens. So it would look very similar. It's just a different size. Is it just a different dimension? Yes. Yeah, so the main difference is between the 268, the 270, and the 272. I love this Orca cam. I feel like I'm right in the action. Right. So yeah. the oh my gosh, the, it goes the whole way. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look yes, that. so that's going to be the multi-point axis that you can use to access your mixer from any which way you want. Um, the 268 in particular is uh, fitted for the F6. Um, the 270 is really based for the Mix Pre series, so Mix Pre 3, the 3.2, the 6, the 6.2, um, and anything that's kind of similar in size. Um, I don't mean to rush you. You can, kill, you can still refer to the uh, 268 just because they're so similar in design. Come but as far as a uh, mixer compatibility, I guess we'll stick with the 268 for now, right? Yeah, for sure. So 
I'm ahead of myself. I get a little bit excited about that. That's all good. Yeah, so, it's, it's great um, because, you know, even knowing it's a very small form factor, it does have the ability to put multiple wireless in here, and it has the ability to fit multiple mixers. So if I even jump around here to the 268 slides, we can show people uh, that, okay, it works with the Zoom F6, the Sonus X M2D2. Are there any other recorders or mixers that work with this? your mixer as well so if you do if you do kind of get in a pinch um, those support beams will kind of keep the bag in its you know in its rigid shape so um, even though it's low well and a little bit more affordable with less material it still keeps the nice has the nice protective um, uh, build to it um, you can also see on the top there you have two loops for connecting to any audio harness yeah and I noticed here um, in the low profile uh, collection vinyl wrap around so it's been quiet Right. Take a look here. This is showing uh, the 270 or, you know, even a 268 with, you know, one of the low profile harnesses right here that are really beautiful and really easy to connect to. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So any 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 harness, um, it, it's, it'll, it'll be compatible with and, uh, you know, you'll be, you'll be ready to go for, for your field recording adventures. Um, Aside from that, it also comes with um, a shoulder strap if you prefer to carry it on or, over your shoulder or just for traveling purposes. Um, you also have a transparent uh, tra uh, rain cover pouch that velcros to the front over the side of your mixer so you can still uh, view all your levels um, while, while still keeping it protected mm -hmm. from uh, any kind of rain. Yep, that's exactly. the guy right there. So you this see this just velcro mounting options on the side and so you slaps onto your bag right there. Yep. Just like that. And you can, yeah. and. And it just allows you, you to away. be able to get your hands inside if you still need to. You can rip it off easily if you need to. It's very yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a very friendly friendly for the operator, so you can work and, and, and still feel protected. Um, but um, that's, uh, that's really the, 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 you know, the nuts and bolts of the whole bag. Um, These are great bags when you're working on shoots that are not too intensive. Think about it. You're like, oh, I just need to do a quick little interview in a park or a field or at somebody's house. Or maybe you're doing a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. Think a couple tracks. You're not going to be necessarily doing an eight-track, multi-track, crazy reality show in a bag like this. Not to say that you couldn't if you had a mix pre-6 and you had enough inputs for that. But it's mainly meant for, you know, some of the easier jobs. You just want to build a beautiful bag. Everything is built in. You've got your couple wireless. You've got your wireless accessories, and boom, you're good to go. This is a, a great option for that. But moving on, what's the next bag do you, that you want to talk about? Yeah, so um, next in the little profile bag collection, we have the 270. Oh, which is physically uh, the one that I'm holding right now. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, so the one in Thomas's hand there is the 270. Um, so the 270 is the low-profile mixer bag for Sound Devices Mix Pre series. So that'll fit the Mix Pre 3, the 3.2, the, the Mix Pre 6, the 6.2, and just kind of any, any mixers that will fit in that in that space. Um, also gives you some, some space in the front pouches there for transmitters as well. Um, but it has a lot of the great design features of the 268. Um, it's got the aluminum frame build on the side. It's got um, access to all points on your bag. Um, the front uh, and back pouches are also zipper detachable, so you can access from the front. Um, you have silent loops, so you can attach to any lightweight or heavy-duty harness. Uh, also comes with a shoulder strap and the top uh, rain cover as well, so you can operate in uh, in, the, in any kind of wet conditions. And uh, you know, it's it's. Very versatile, like like Thomas said, it's perfect for you know simple multi-channel uses for uh, recording, for you know uh, interviews, um, quick on the go, you know low, just very low key shoot, shoots that you don't want to make a big fuss with a lot of equipment, but you still want to have the excellent quality. You know, exactly. this guy will be your nice little side. You know, this will be your side buddy with you know to to take along with your your main your main bag for for any kind of bigger larger productions. It's definitely a good companion bag, I'd say. Yeah, a good companion bag, you know, even if you have like a bigger sound bag and then you're mm -hmm. like, "You know what? I do want to have a smaller sound bag that's just good for those little interviews and those things where you don't want to bring out all your big guns." This is a great bag to build something small. Like with what I'm doing right now, I'm putting the Mix Pre 6 from Sound Devices in this bag, and I'm using the Velcro straps that are around the, uh, what, what do you call these bars again right here, brother? 
You know, I just call them aluminum supports. The, the um, aluminum it's, supports. It's, it's, yeah, um, it's just an internal frame. Yep. The internal frame of the bag itself. But yeah, you got it uh, nice and strapped and safe. Yep. Um, those the Velcro stra uh, straps are included with the bag. Yep. So you just make sure you you latch it into your your mixer and it'll keep it nice and safe. Yeah, and you can make it even tighter than I did right now. I just kind of did it just to show you, but you can crank it. You'll notice that you know it does. I don't want to say that it's floppy in here because it's not. But what if you don't like it having that little bit of movement? One easy solution is you could put a little piece of Velcro here and get it to sit to the bottom of the bag, and then it won't ever move at all. But mm -hmm. honestly, having it move that little bit is actually going to help you. To, to to let it run around and move on your bag a little bit, move on your body when you're moving around. So this yeah. is a, a perfect bag for this because take a look. You can get to all around. You can get to the access on all the sides. Beautiful. This is a mix pre six in here. Excellent view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, you can use this with, I'm assuming that you guys have uh, harnesses, but you also have different waistbands as well, too. So this would be a great option to use something like an OR37 with this bag. Is that right? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. This could be, you know, your little toolkit. You know, you have your, your waistband, the OR37 with your, your 268, your 270, or your 272. And yeah, you're definitely you're ready to go. I mean, you'll be able to... You're not going to be too cumbersome. Um, you know, you'll be able to boom up if you want to, and kind of, you know, you you can be. It's also you know for that that kind of audio audio engineer, you know, exactly kind of needs to be able to have both hands ready. So, um, I think it's uh, you know the, the the waist harness is definitely a good combo. Um, That's but, great for camera operators too. I know that we're true audio and we cater to sound guys, but we cater to everybody here. Let's face it. And you know what? If you're you know using a monopod with a DSLR camera and you have a smaller bag like this and you want to have it on a waistband around your waist, oh yeah, that's going to be a lot uh, easier if you are doing that full one man band things. Not that you should be. You should be getting help. Uh, but well, that's another video, right? Yeah. Moving yeah, on. Yeah. I mean, right? that's kind of the spirit of of production, right? Is of uh, uh, doing what you can with what you got, but um, yeah, exactly, exactly. Camera ops, it's great if you don't want to go for a full audio kit. You just you know snag this guy so you can have great audio uh, with your video quality, uh, with your video shooting. So um, it's it's just a great entry point bag, a great uh, accessory bag to have along with your main audio. Um, so that's the idea behind the low profile bag collection. Love it, um, and then. Um, the third bag in the collection, I don't know if you're ready to move on yeah. to uh, check out the third guy. Uh, it's going to be similar in design also, but this guy is the 272. This one is designed specifically to fit the Mixpre 10T, um, the Zaxcon Nova. Uh, the, you've got the F8N, uh, the F4, uh, just anything that's in that similar size. It's kind of the, the larger of the, of the, the low-profile bags. But um, it's same, same fantastic uh, you know, aluminum support design, um, multi-point axis. Um, you've got spaces for your wireless transmitters. You've got safety straps to secure your mixer to the top. You've got your harness loops with, uh, with silent vinyl uh, covering. Um, let's see, you've got your shoulder strap included. Uh, gives you all the great uh, features and, uh, you know, just, you know, comfortable ease of access uh, features that you, you want in a good orca bag um, but this one is catered to you know the specific uh, mixers mentioned before the, the mix free 10 the nova the f4 f8n um, so similar similar design this is your your run and gun field guy that you're going to keep on the side to kind of um, keep your load light while you're recording. So in my opinion, like, I guess when I'm hearing you describe this bag, it's kind of like those people that are like, okay, I want a second bag, but maybe I don't want to have a mix pre or a mix six or, or a zoom or something. I want to use my, my bigger, you know, quality recorder that, you know, that I really enjoy, like the 888 or the 883 or the Zaxcoms or something like that. So you still want a low profile bag, but you need it just to be a little bit bigger. So it's going to increase the width and the length in order to cater to those bigger bags, but still keep that lower profile that allows you to be more minimalistic on set. Is that right? 
Yeah, absolutely. Because, you know, if you if you have a really small bag, you don't want to have it just loose around, you know, even if it's a low profile bag, if it's not properly fitted, you don't want it to be, you know, whipping around in there. So we have these three different sizes for kind of these three sized uh, mixers that we kind of find that they're, you know, fitting into. So um, these three should cover most of the smaller mixer needs and, in, and the, even the mid-sized ones, which you'll see with the, you know, the Nova or the Tent, you know. Exactly. Um, yeah. So when you jump up to this 272, you definitely maximize the, the amount of recorders that can go into. I mean, like even some of your bigger bags cater to these same recorders, which is awesome. Yeah. I mean, we also recommend, you know, the 272 if you have something like an MX, uh, an MXL mount, uh, battery mount sled as well. If you kind of need more of a battery solution or more, you know, transmitter solutions, that's what the 272 is also excellent for. You know, you know that you, you got to have all these extra tools and goodies with you. Um, this will give you that space as well. Beautiful. Why don't we yeah. move on, brother? I think they know a lot about the low-profile bag collection. This is a, a very good option if it's going to be your first bag or maybe your second bag, you know, when you want your backup bag to be made. Everybody wants more than one bag nowadays. So uh, definitely think about these and some of the harnesses as well. Marcus, what's next? Cool, cool. So moving on, uh, we have uh, the mainline Orca uh, bags. So uh, next is going to be the 27. Uh, this is going to be part of the Orca audio bag line. So this is uh, mainly designed to fit the Zoom F4, uh, Zaxcom Max, the Tascam DR701D, just kind of similar bags like that. Um, this is going to be a lot more rugged, um, a lot uh, a higher priced option than the low profile bags. Um, but the reason for that is that, you know, it's really your, your full bags for your full builds with uh, your your mixers, your your batteries, your transmitters, um, everything that you're going to need uh, for your main for your main shoots. Um, it's for uh, it's got to have it, it has the full aluminum frame around each edge of the bag. So as you can see in this image here, uh, the standing portion of the bag that is uh, that is uh, being revealed is all aluminum uh, supported. Uh, you have the sides and the front flaps all removable. You can uh, take them off entirely or just uh, kind of uh, use a zipper to kind of peek them open to kind of do some quick changes. Or you can get the whole bag and kind of rearrange it however you like. But it comes with uh, support straps included, uh, lifters and uh, you know, support, uh, support razors for your mixer. Uh, it comes with a padded shoulder strap, comes with a... Uh, uh, top rain cover as well. Um, it's got um, secure handles for travel, uh, for traveling purposes. And the entire bag is uh, padded and secure with an internal honeycomb frame. So aside from the uh, the rigid support of the aluminum frame inside the bag, the the, the bag is also uh, uh, kept safe with the with a soft felt interior, with a fabric interior and a honeycomb padding inside as well. So it's all very, it's all gonna be very, very safe, secure, and you know, you'll be able to take it around with you and it, it'll it'll be able to, it'll be your buddy for, for the long haul. But uh, the 272, like, uh, you know, um, like many of, uh, you know, the many of uh, Orca's bags, uh, you know, is uh, gonna be your buddy for a long time. It's gonna be, uh, but it's gonna be bigger than the low profile bags that we, that we just mentioned. Yeah, it's, definitely, it's going to be a little bit bigger. It's going to be a little bit sturdier. Uh, you know what, Marcus, I don't have a 27 with me, but I do have a 28. Could I show that off as a, as a, a similarity? Yeah, certainly. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so, that'll have a lot of the same features and design elements. So this is, like I said, an OR28, but it's it's very similar. And the biggest thing that I wanted to show you guys is, is what Marcus was talking about with the frame and the capability of the frame. Because when you want to get in and get your hands into this bag to work on things, look at this. This is completely taken down. And this is what he's talking about. This is that frame right here that it, it's built out of aluminum, so I'm... <clears throat> okay, people are gonna call me weak, but I promise you I'm working pretty hard. I mean, I'm, I'm pushing really hard. If you push in the middle, of course it's gonna bend. It's a long piece of aluminum. But if I'm pushing on the corners, it's not moving at all. So it, it's gonna keep its form. I mean, even if you had somebody back into you, it's not gonna smash and ruin your bag and break your mixer. And the fact that you can get your hands all the way into the bag from any angle, you know, it's easy for routing cables and putting things in. 
And another thing that we need to talk about is, you know, you, you just kind of breezed over this, but we yeah, got to pause that's... for a minute and talk about the Orca Lift. Yeah, the Orca Lifts, they both come included with your bag, but uh, they're excellent aluminum-supported lifts that are adjustable in height. We have those Velcros there. Um, you just undo your Velcro straps and make whatever appropriate adjustments you need. A lot of people like to have their mixer bags like slightly sticking out of their bag, flush yep. with their bag, or kind of caved in there. So, so you if can I really was get... putting this in there like that and I wanted to have the mixer you know, be like here, for example, I would just remove those little Velcro straps, raise the lifts, tie it again, and then it would sit here instead and be perfectly level. Exactly, yeah. Super easy Velcro design. Uh, it's got a nice fabric, so it's not going to scratch your mixer. And, uh, you know, it's included with your bag, so mm, a uh, lot of the... it'll, it'll get you there. Also, that uh, internal divider right in there, um, since we're, oh, since yeah, we're right looking here. inside the bag, is also uh, aluminum supported, but it's uh, Velcro. And so you can, uh, you know, adjust it as you need. Um, yeah, so if you want to make it more room for the bigger mixer, you can take it and move it back if you need to, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's, you know, it's very customizable. You know, you make the space, you know, as you know, as uh, customizable as you'd like. The uh, you also see there's some some support straps in there too for any transmitters. Yep, that's going to be the front pouch, so you can access the front. What's also cool is you can even access the bottom of the bag as well. Oh wow! Look at that, guys. Take a look. Yeah. Oh man, this Velcro's strong. Just letting everybody know. Okay, there we go. So that'll allow you to get to the back end of your recorders if you need to get like the cards out, uh, if you put your batteries down underneath everything so they're out of sight, out of mind. That's mm -hmm. a great option too. It's a beautiful yeah. little bag. And this works with all of the different harnesses as well because it has the multiple access points. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, it definitely does. And um, yeah, it's uh, just all around a great bag. It's everything you want in an Orca bag. Exactly. So we were talking about the 27. You know what? I'm going to jump to the 28 since obviously that is the one in my hand. Why don't we discuss this one a little bit more? And in fact, I can even bring out the, uh, the strap that comes with it. Uh, this is uh, basically the shoulder harness, not strap, shoulder harness, right? It's a shoulder strap. No, you're absolutely right. Okay. It's a you know, nice padded strap, super cozy, comfy on your shoulder. You can yeah. Yep. Nice. It's got some uh, rubber dots on it. That's what I would call them. Looks like that. And mm -hmm. the idea is that, you know, it's going to kind of, you know, kind of keep it in the place that you have it. So, you know, th this bag, you're not going to load it up with 16 wireless. You're going to have a couple wireless in here. So if you had to have a bag over your shoulder, I mean, I would personally have it across your body like that. Um, it, it's going to work fine. And then obviously if you're like, yeah, you know, you know, it's really digging into my shoulder, then you can start pulling out the big guns and, you know, get the OR40 or the 37 or even the 400 to connect to it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, every, every Orca bag comes with this shoulder strap included. So whether or not uh, you have the harness, you're going to be good to go. But, uh, you know, the harnesses are all or all bag friendly. Beautiful. Uh, yeah. All right. Moving so, on. Uh, why don't we work on the OR280? Because this is a bag that I think a lot of people that are Sound Devices fans are going to like because it is mainly created for the Sound Devices Mix Pre series. Is that right? Yes, absolutely. So the 280 is for the entire Mix Pre series, um, including the Mix Pre 10 with the uh, MXL battery mount. Um, so very sound devices friendly, uh, as you can see, uh, it's kind of got our full bag design. So that's going to include our aluminum, uh, aluminum frame, uh, the, uh, the fabric, uh, dividers with the mixer lift. You also have foam lifters that sit at the bottom of the bag as well. Uh, you have the, uh, multi-point access from all points, uh, from all sides of the bag. Um, all, all, all the goodies. Um, it, it, you also come. It also comes with a uh, with some boom pole straps over on the front there as well. So you can uh, bring your boom pole boom pole along for the ride. And uh, you know, it's it's got a it's got a you know all the all the good all the good bits that you want to see in a, in a good orca bag. Um, to show you got guys, the rain this, cover this as well. The, the, this is the padding that you were talking about that fits in the bottom of those bags, right? So this is mm -hmm. basically like an orca lift light. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, yep. so, you, so you have that in there as well. So, um, just to give you full customizability, um, as you can see, also there's two handles that are actually on the top 
of the bag right there as well. Those are for travel purposes. Um, you know, they're quiet flannel bags with uh, fabric, but they're actually connected via um, some plastic clips there. So you can clip them off if you don't want them in the way. Yep. If you kind of want to, if you're all business, you don't need them to walk, walking around. Yep. Perfect exactly. view. So yeah. you can take off these, you know, and honestly, I, I love that part of your bags because I sometimes I'm just like, get these flaps out of my way. They're in the way. And to, <laughs> to be able to, you know, not just have them around the front of the bag, but be able to physically take them off like that and then store them is a great feature. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you're, uh, you can toss that, the shoulder strap and just be full harness if you want, you know, straight, straight business. And I know it uh, sounds silly. You, you look at this handle and you're like, that can't be comfortable to hold for a long time. But for some reason, this PVC tubing around this material is a very comfortable, easy to grab handle. Um, I just, I like the way it feels. I'm just being yeah, honest. and and the the great part about the material too is that it's a quiet material. You know, it's very quiet. It's, you know, there's a you know, it's not a plastic that's going to clank or, or you know exactly. make any noise. There's no squeaks. There's no clicks or clanks happening from anything on this bag that I've heard when I've worn them. Yeah, yeah, the fabric and and you know the padding and it, throughout the whole bag keeps it all very nice and and soft feeling yet rigid. That's that's the best part. You feel like it feels safe but but tough at the same time you know it's um it's a good build they're they're built so so fantastic and you know um and, and any of the uh you know smaller pieces like you know zippers and whatnot that you know you might find yourself replacing over the years um very you know very easily replaceable we have spare parts available there's an online catalog so um you know any any of the small bits like that a new handle for example you lose the one that you detach you can also get you you know all of those goodies, so it's a uh, you know it's not a hassle. Exactly, you literally just have to give us a call at uh, True Audio. We have mm -hmm. a bunch of different locations that are available all across you know America and Canada, and all you need to do is just tell us, describe what the piece is, and we're going to be able to go. Oh yeah, we we know what the model number is. We'll call up Marcus, and he'll get the the spare piece, or if you even need, I'm assuming you might even have pieces in other colors or something like that, potentially depending on what it is. So, um, yeah, just let us know and we can help you with any of the accessories if you need more or a replacement. Yeah. Call, call Thomas or, or myself and, you know, we'll get you all squared up with everything that you need. Um, you know, uh, so I think, uh, we might be ready to go into the next bag. Let's perhaps. do it. What's the next one? Right. What do you think? Next one, I believe is the, we haven't done the 28, right? No, we have not done the 28 officially. Okay, let's let's grab that bad boy out. Okay, I got cool. it right so, here. So that is the actual 28. So this is also in the Orca small audio bag uh, family. So this one is specifically designed to hold the Zoom F8, the Zaxcom Max, the Tascam DR70, uh, sound devices Mix 3, Mix Pre 3, and, and, and any, anything in that family of sizes. Um, it's you know, it's got your internal honeycomb. You've got your, you know, front pockets as well. Your side, uh, your side uh, loops as well. Look at that, holds it just nice and snug. Now I didn't put the strap around it right now. That's why I'm holding it with my finger so it doesn't fall into the bag. Um, but you know, oh, but it does have those. Uh, they're not called the orca lifts again. It's the padding on the bottom. The uh, the orca padding. Is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yep. So it's got that that allows you to, you know, get the mixer to just sit up at the top of the bag. And if you need it to sit up higher, you could always just get another pad if you needed to, right? Correct. Yeah. And then they have Velcro on the bottom of each pad. So it just kind of slaps right onto there and it's not going to go anywhere either. So, yep. yeah. 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 Just uh, build up your bag as you need. Yeah. That's a great view. Awesome. And um, I don't know, Thomas, if you don't mind opening up the back, the side that's towards you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That side. There it is. Okay. Two. Two zippers right there. I'll fold yeah, it open a little bit. Or the bit. full full side. Oh, the full they, side. Yeah, of course. Yes, because there's Boom. a couple of straps. Yeah, so those straps as well are also uh, meant f for your uh, mixer. So uh, you, essentially you can use those to kind of strap either directly onto the loops of your mixer or kind of use it as like a, as a, as a net for your bag. But those are kind of designed to also secure your, your mixer from and prevent it from slide, slipping and sliding around. And how yeah, would exactly. it work? So, so you're putting it around like that and crisscross it. So I'm physically taking it off of the side of the bag yes. and then sticking it onto the side of the recorder like mm -hmm. so. And then I obviously just have to cinch it tight. Is yeah, that right? Yeah. 
Okay, mm-hmm. very good. So you might even cinch it tighter uh, before you... Oh, no, there it is. Okay, so I'm just pulling on the straps. Very, very easy to do. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, that is that is in there now. Yeah, you really bungee it in there, and you know that guy's going nowhere. So. All right, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Here we go. It's with a brand new <laughs> F8N. Oh, God, Fabi, I hope she's not watching. It did not <laughs> fall out with the three-shake test. So... I'm going to say that's a pretty amazing uh, strap system. What is that called again? Whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's a curing <laughs> system. It's a mixer secure system, yeah. Uh, I lo- you know what? Is- I think you should, you should uh, trademark that word because that's beautiful. And you can see that it's just biting it right into the side. You can see that it's not bending the frame because the aluminum frame is so strong. Um, obviously, I need to tighten this one down a little bit more. I mean, you're on the, you're doing it on the fly. You're yeah, doing, with I mean, one hand you, too. So yeah, you, you know, don't don't worry about it. I mean, it looks it looks fantastic. You know, it looks like the uh, it's nice and nestled in there, mm-hmm. and uh, with some additional space for all your for your, for some for some goodies there up front as well. It's it's really important that you take the care and the concern to make sure that these things are secure. Because, you know, when you're working on those different types of shows, like the Great American Race or whatever they're called, and, you, you know, your host or your talent just books it down the road and you're like, oh, I guess I have to go run after them now. And you're running and this bag is flipping around like this and you've got things falling out of it and you've got your mixer that's now shifting to the side. You don't want to have problems like that. You want it to just be a locked off, secured piece of equipment in this bag that stays where it is. It literally, you almost want it to become an extension of your body when you're working in these bags and and having it secure up against your body like that. Um, They did a great job at making sure it's not flopping around and being messy. Yeah, and you know, you just get familiar with the size of your bag and uh, the, you know, your footprint on the on set, and you know, you'll be able to whip it around no problem. But um, yeah, you know, you won't even feel that you have a mixer on you. You know, it'll be just yeah. a part of your. That, that's a great. That's a great. You know, that's where you want to be when you're setting up your bag for sure. And uh, it's a lot of great resources online. A lot of fantastic people at True Audio who will help you set up your bag as you need. You know, a lot of uh, got a lot of experience. Um, uh, put building building some great audio kits. So yeah, um, you guys just give us a call and we'll talk to you. We're literally going to ask you what recorder do you have, and we're going to give you the options uh, so you can pick the bag that you like for your recorder. And you know we can even help you build it in the store if you guys need help. Just always ask us. We're here to help. Yeah, Marcus. Great. What's mm-hmm. the next bag? Next bag we have the OR30. The OR30, and I think I have that one behind me as well. Let me double check. Yeah, this is the. OR30. Here's a little cheat sheet for anyone. If you ever want to know the model number of the ORs, they've got a little tag on the back right where your belly goes on the left side, and you can see that it says OR30 right there. It's a little dark, but uh, that's where it says it, so you can see what's going on. So talk to us about this bag, brother. Yeah, so this is going to be a staple audio mixer bag from Orca. This has the space to fit the uh, Sound Vices 633, the 833, the 888, and the Zaxcom Max. Um, This guy is going to come with the full aluminum body frame, but this also, um, aside from having, you know, the aluminum body frame, the honeycomb interior design, the multi-axis points, um, you also, um, yeah, that's a fantastic view. Oh, yeah. It also comes with the foam risers and the uh, aluminum risers as well. So this is going to be kind of uh, more, yeah, exactly. So it comes with two risers there. This is going to be more of a more of a fully featured bag. Um, it's yeah, it's literally has like all of the features from all the other bags finally mm-hmm. coming into one. Yeah, yeah. Um, some of the additional features that it comes included uh, with are the, uh, on the front actually you can see there's, the detachable front pouch. Oh, this pouch right here is detachable. Yes. So okay. that is a uh, a big pouch that uh, you can either use uh, with your bag or you can detach it um, to keep your bag kind of lower profile. Very good. Um, but there's also wireless transmitter pouch. Uh, um, I guess pouches on the sides as well. That those two on the side. Yeah. So you can twist those, and uh, they come off. Yep. So it's got Just a like locking that. mechanism. Very yeah, good. a little little plastic lock. You know, you're gonna pop it in and spin it, and there's a little uh, clip there to kind of secure it in place. Well, yeah, with one hand, it's a little harder, obviously, but I'll, I'll get it for you guys. Here we oh, go. Oh yeah. So I put it like that, and then I twist it. Boom! Now it's locked in. 
mm-hmm. and it's not going anywhere, but that, boom, just a quick twist. When you have it on your bag, or on your person, rather, it's a lot easier to do that twisting mechanism. Um, yeah. So those are yeah. for the wireless receivers on your bag, or another yeah. option of where to put them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So um, that front sh- uh, that front pouch there, um, as like I said, you can uh, detach it. There's uh, extra storage in there. There's some bungee straps on the front. Yeah, that so you got a tiny pouch, the larger pouch, the bungee straps, and then uh, this OR30. Uh, the front um, the front pouch can actually be replaced by a smaller pouch. Um, so as an additional option for the OR30, we provide uh, accessory front pouches that are lower in profile and come in multiple colors. So there's a black color, a gray color, and a blue version. Yeah, there you go. You got the photos all lined up. So that's uh, if you don't want the larger pouch with the extra storage and the wireless transmitter options, and you kind of want to keep your, your options more slim, you can you know opt to go for one of these uh, colored uh, fronts and front ends as well. So... Um, also, it also has a, uh, you know, also has a zipper pouch on the front. It's just a little bit less, uh, you know, less, less cumbersome if that's what you need for, for your particular situation. But, um, yeah, it's, it's got a, it's, it's a great, uh, mixer bag. That's going to be able to carry all of your needs. Um, it's got, uh, you know, compatible with any Orca harness or any harness out on the market. Um, yeah, that's the great fully loaded one. That's going to be what it looks like fully loaded. So you can really see that you can really pack this guy up with not only your mixer needs, but like any anything else included in your kit, you know, um, like the boom poles and cabling and, uh, you know, extra batteries. And it's, it's, it's an audio bag plus an accessory bag attached to it. So also has its uh, padded shoulder strap included as well. Um, the rain cover is also included, just like the low profile audio bags. Yep, just like... So Velcro's right in. You can operate while you're uh, while you're in the middle of a monsoon, and you'll be all right. This is the type of bag that when you get into those jobs where they're like, uh, just to let you know, you're not going to be sitting down in this job. You're going to be moving all over the place for hours and hours on a day. And you're like, okay, well, I better have everything with me, you know? This is what you want. So if you're following around one or two people for the whole day and you want places for your batteries and all of your wireless accessories and all of your gear, obviously, you know, you don't want to have everything jam-packed to where you can't even get your hand in the bag. You need to have the versatility to, you know, have the places for specific things. So it's a, it's a very good organizer to keep everything, you know, organized. I'm going to say the word again. Uh, in its own place, so you can do your job and not being like, oh, no, I got to go to that Pelican case. I left something in the car. Oh, my God, what am I going to do? You know, you don't want to have those problems, and having a bigger bag like this is going to help you. It's not that these smaller bags, like, uh, which one is this again? The It's not like the 270 isn't going to do the job, but what do you think is going to give you a little bit more access to all of your professional accessories, your wireless, and all of that stuff, you know? It's going to help you if you know that you've got to be prepared with everything you know or if you're one of those people that have to bring a ton of different accessories to make sure that you're prepared for anything this is what you want to go for right yeah absolutely and that would be the great pairing you you would have your or 30 you know alongside with your 270 you know exactly that prepared that uh that pair that you have right there in front of you, exactly, you know, exactly. and you're good, you're good for, for any kind of situation, but that's, that's an excellent point. You know, it's really going to be, you know, your savior when, you know, you realize that you, you, you know, it'll, it'll save you from that extra trip to the truck. Yep. You know? And that's I'm showing sure. all of the harnesses right now to show that you guys have four different versions of harnesses. Uh, yeah. I, I guess when I say four versions, three harnesses and one waist belt, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're all in the same family of you know support harnesses. But the yeah, if, um, do you want to go over the the harnesses a little bit right now? Yeah, why not? You know, we've been talking a bunch of, a bunch about them, and obviously they're going to start working with all of the different recorders, uh, all of the different bags as we continue. So let's give it a shot. We'll talk about these. We've got the thirty seven, the forty, the four hundred, and the four four four. So you tell me which one you want to start with. Yeah, well, we'll start at the beginning with the 37. Uh, 37 is going to be just the waist portion of a vest. Uh, it's going to it's going to have the uh, uh, honeycomb kind of uh, foam material inside. It's a fabric material on the outside, fully adjustable straps. Um, it co- there's a the the, the ventilated uh, EVA vent mesh fabric allows you to breathe. Um, so it's not uh, doesn't uh, you know it's very comfortable for long hours on set. 
Um, but uh, it's a super durable um, harness that allows you to, you know, carry your audio mixer bag without feeling it on your shoulders. You know, um, it's it's a great little system. Yeah, uh, and in fact, you know, I do want to bring up something right now. Regardless of the harnesses or the waist belts that you should feel, you should never really feel anything on your shoulders. So if if you're no. doing a whole day and you go home and you're like oh my God, I, I want to die right now. Um, you need to get a harness or you need to learn how to properly fit your harness to you because just because you get one of these right here, I mean, you can see there's a lot going on here. And if you don't know how to put it on, ask us, we're here to help you. If you guys purchase one from us, we're happy to help you, show you how to fit it in the store and make sure that it fits the proper way so you're not hurting yourself because this is the type of thing that if you wear it wrong for years and years and years, you're going to hurt your body and we don't want that to happen. Yeah, any kind of harness, you really want to feel it more on your lower back and your hips, just the lower center of gravity where you're not kind all of going to be... All weight should be here. Yeah, all weight should be there nice and secure and tight. So that's where, well, that's where the, you know, this harness is really going to be covering you, going to be covering you in the hips, hitting it, keeping it right there where you need it to be. Mm. So this um, is great for all of the lighter bags. You know, if you're recording, if you're carrying eight or 10 wireless, maybe the harness isn't necessarily the best option. Not that it won't work, but you're going to really have to crank it around your waist. But for lighter bags with one or two wireless, that's not a bad, not a bad deal. No, not at all. Um, but I, yeah, this will work with any of the low profile or the main mainline audio, uh, audio bags for sure. Very good. So uh, next um, is going to be the uh, OR40. This is going to be uh, the next step up. As you can see, it's got the ventilated EVA mesh fabric, and uh, but uh, it has the added benefit of also having the top vest option as well. Uh, what's great about the vest is it also provides a USB a USB power supply through the vest for any kind of battery so, uh, um, solutions that you have. Also has some additional uh, a special pouch for the battery. Um, it has an aluminum bar spine that uh, is included with it as well. So uh, that uh, that spine will actually uh, support between the waist and the vest portion of the bag. It you know, gives you that extra support you need. The uh, aluminum bar is also adjustable in height as well. So um, depending on the length of your torso, you, you can make sure that you're getting the proper support uh, up top. That's but, exactly uh, what we're talking about too. It's like once you take the weight off of your hips, you know, and you and you upgrade to the harness from the waist belt, you know, you've got to get that height of the harness to be the exact site, the height of your spine. Because if not, you're literally having the harness condense your spine so you have yeah. to have it measured for you it's a one size fits all but you've got to fit it properly yeah yeah you know i had somebody explain that like the spine to me really well to me once where it was just like it's essentially a series of you know vertebrae like a chain link and all day long you're walking around with this chain link but like upright like your back so it's always trying to you know fold in on itself and it doesn't really sit naturally upright so you really got to do all the, everything you can, you know, with, you know, exercise and any kind of support. And when you're working, you want to really want to make sure that that chain is nice and, and taut and it's not going to squeeze on itself. So you really want to, it's, it's important. You know, the spine by itself is not designed great to kind of stand around all day in general. So you may think you're Superman, but like your spine is not designed for that. So yeah, in fact, super you know important what? To have you're shorter when you go home at night than you are from when you wake up in the morning, if you're sleeping horizontally. So just think mm -hmm. about that. Anything you can do to get that weight off of your spine is a very, very good idea. Love it. Yeah. So that's yeah. the 40. Uh, why don't we jump over to the 400? Yeah, so the 400 is going to be uh, much more simpler in design than the four than the 40. Uh, it's essentially going to be a padded fabric strap that's adjustable, and uh, it's, it has aluminum clips to mount onto. It'll it'll hold any audio mixer bag that you carry. Um, this is going to be super minimalistic. Um, just um, just the straps, uh, foldable for easy storage, padded for comfort, um, quick release uh, clips. Um, it's you know it's. This is going to be um, this is going to be just for something not your not your all day use, but you know it'll be something better than the shoulder strap, for example. You know, it's uh, kind of your your toe into the uh, the the audio harness realm, I'd say. Um, and this, this looks is, like one of the kind of harnesses that you can kind of 
almost keep on the bag too and kind of slip into from underneath if you needed to. You yeah, know I mean? it's essentially like a, 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 a glorified shoulder strap. You know, you could keep it as, as the repl repl replacement for the shoulder strap with the bag, you know. Exactly, exactly. And yeah. then obviously if we go up one more, we get to your ultimate mecha harness. Yes. Right? The final boss. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> the OR444. So this is also known as the 3S harness. Um, the reason it is called the 3S harness is because uh, that stands for the spinal support system. Oh, excellent. We got the Orca cam on the on the 444. Oh. So the the real big deal about the uh, 3S harness is this uh, spine, this ratcheting, this uh, mnemonic design here. So essentially, this adjustable spine support system clicks uh, to uh, set at the proper height to uh, lift all the weight off your shoulders. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's specifically designed. Actually, it's technology from the Israeli army. Uh, this is actually. A, uh, a harness uh, um, technology that is used for carrying a lot of military equipment. Um, the army uses it in I Israel. Um, I've done. I've talked to people who have told me that they've used this technology to literally carry RPGs in in the army. Um, wow. So it's a it's a very proven strong system. So do you pull uh, on this to make it longer? Is that what you do, or what is this for right here? So that clip right there is if you wanted to separate it for storage, actually. Oh, so you okay. can keep the top the top portion can stay with the vest, and the bottom portion stays with the with the harness. But it's all it's all um, it's all um, you can all take it down. It's all modular. That's the great part about the design. Mm -hmm. So what you saw here is you took off the top portion of the vest. Yeah. And uh, you can actually remove the spine separately from the waist. Oh, right here. So you could yeah. So okay. you could use the entire system together. You could use just the just the waist portion, kind of similar to the OR thirty seven. I'm not going to take it out completely, but you can see that it happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and so or you can work with just the waist, uh, the entire system all together, uh, or the waist with the the top vest portion without the spine. So you can kind of work modularly however you like. Um, that right. right there. I'm noticing these little guys. These are new. What's this? Yeah, so those are some roller lockers that uh, allow for some fine fine adjustments on your in your hips when you're tightening it. Because as we said before, the the hips really need to be tight. So uh, once you clip on um, your your harness, uh, you use those roller locks to kind of really um, to lock in um, you know a firm a firm uh, fit for for the harness. Um, and next to it, right there, is going to be uh, your 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 spine release. So that black grip right there. This piece um, right see here. The, no, so if you follow the black uh, cable that's going out of the spine right there, to, oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Side. yep. There's a cable right here, everyone, and so it's coming down through the spine, and then yes. it goes right to this right here. Yeah. So um, this is you not a vape pen. It is not a vape pen. Okay. <laughs> no, no. You, uh, but it's it's really awesome. What it is is a. Uh, you take the uh, clip, and what that does is re it releases the the teeth on your spine. Oh so, yeah. Uh, that allows you. Yeah. So. You'll hear oh, a nice click oh, when you okay, hit it. Okay. Yep. See, I, you could see everybody. I was trying to flip with this earlier, and in theory, it was this. So I push on this, and now it's locked in. But now I push mm -hmm. this, and now I can extend it. Okay. So if I needed to make it taller for me because I'm six feet tall, now it's locked into the higher, the taller height. Yeah, and it's super easy to fit while you're wearing also, because while you're wearing the spine, you can actually release it bend over and the way you stand up it'll snap right into place and it'll be sitting with the shoulders uh with your shoulders just lifted above like off your off your uh, off your back so you're oh, not yeah. going to be feeling any of it yeah um but this is a uh, very new to the audio uh audio world like i said it's military um technology that uh, orca has taken and repurposed it for an audio harness there are no other harnesses in the market that use this technology um but it's this is definitely going to keep you going all day long. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if you can carry some RPGs with it, you, know, you can definitely carry uh, you know, a bag of any size, uh, regardless if it's audio or, or, or what. But um, it's, it's uh, you can see on the back there, there's also storage uh, solutions for batteries right there. There's a power supply, USB power supply, that runs over the shoulder to the front. So you can use that for whatever uh, tech you, you'd like. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So it's, it's basically just a USB extension cable that goes right into your harness. And I like that it's pointed down. So if you're getting rained on, it's not getting water in the port. Um, yeah. 
uh, and so you know you could have that running you know just a, a USB cable to charge your phone or a mobile device on your bag. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's powered off of your back. So, you know, that's another great thing is the fact that you get to disperse the weight not only to your, to your hips, but also front and back as well, not just up and down. So you can, you know, instead of having everything in the front where you're leaning backwards, you're just kind of putting the weight in the back instead of the front, which is where yeah. it should be anyways. When you wear a backpack, that's what makes it safer anyways. It's better to have the weight on the back than in the front of you, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so having this, you know, a heavier duty harness will definitely, you know, help with that also. But uh, aside from that, you know, the build it's the build itself. It, it has a nice three D EVA internal uh, honeycomb design, so it's nice and breathable. The mesh fabric also is nice and breathable. It's very durable. The aluminum clips um, to for for mounting onto your audio bag. Uh, it's it's all very well made. Um, the spine is going to be the really the real shining the shining feature here though. Um, so yeah, it's one of those things that until you put it on, you're going to be like, yeah, whatever. It's a spine. I get it. Um, but when you actually put it on the right way and then you use it for a day and you go home at night and you're like, oh, I don't feel like I'm in pain and I want to kill myself today because my back doesn't hurt like it always does after I wear a bag for 12 hours a day. Well, there you go. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely wear it even just when, even when I'm not wearing a bag. It's just great support for my back. I just feel comfortable. I, I'll walk around the office with it, trying it out, and I'll forget I have it on because it's just it's comfy. It's padded. I think padded. you're just it, trying out for the RoboCop remake. Or, you know, maybe I don't know. I'm just I know. Well, I will have another crack at it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, let's move on. Uh, let's get back into some bags. What's next? Uh, yeah, that was a nice about... detour with uh, the harnesses. Going back to the bags, uh, we start. We finished off with the thirty. We can move on to the thirty-two. Let's do it. The thirty-two. Ooh. This is uh, again. We're getting into some of those bigger mixers and things like that. So, uh, yeah, thirty-two. I have that one uh, as well in front of me. So I'm gonna clear off some space here while you're talking about some of the stats of this bag. Cool. Yeah. So the 32 is going to be the, uh, the the sibling to the OR30. This is the second mixer bag for larger mixing setups. So this is going to be fitted for the Zaxcon Nomad 4, the Nomad 6, the 12, Sound Devices 664, uh, the 664 um, CL6, the 788T with CL8, Sound Devices 664 with uh, plus uh, you know space for transmitters as well. So this is going to be a little bit bigger than the OR30 um, with a lot of the lot of the fantastic features. Um, front detachable pouch as well. You've got space for uh, you, your wireless transmitters on the side. You've got the large pouch, small pouch, your boom pole straps. Uh, you have the aluminum frame. You have the vinyl loops for, for silent mounting option. You have your detachable uh, uh, you have your detachable handles for storage. You have your uh, your foam aluminum dividers. As you can see, the OR32 is wide enough to hold uh, three different rows of, of, of uh, mixers and uh, wireless and, and just accessories. Uh, so you've got two separate dividers in there. Yeah. I just so got we, my desk clean. It took a while. <laughs> no problem. Oh, look, see, so definitely larger form factor than uh, any of the previous bags that mm -hmm. we've seen. Um, but... Yeah, you have your is, multiple you're no points longer of using the little mixers and recorders anymore. This is for the big guns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So this is going to be um, the the you know you're you're walking in uh, almost fully loaded. You know you've got a, a wow. fantastic fit. Throwing that guy in there. So those aluminum lifts are are nice and and sitting pretty there already. The foam uh, lift is already in there as well. Yep. Um, in the middle divider, you can see the uh, rain cover is included with the bag as well. And it has the, it also has the lifts as well as the uh, support straps. The new patented, uh, what, what is, yeah, we got to come up with a name for those. Yeah, right. I know the mixer straps. We'll, we'll come up with something. Yeah, right. I think it's a, it's a great feature and it just, again, it just helps to keep everything secure. So, you know, especially when you, you when you buy something as expensive as some of these recorders, you, you want to make sure that it is completely safe and that, you know, it's not getting jostled around in there. So, um, yeah, that's, that's great. Yeah. And that uh, allows it's... you too to not have to put the straps around the front of this, which kind of keeps everything in the front open for you while you're working. 
Yeah, it's got a nice, you know, kind of dip towards the middle of the bag as well. So it's like uh, kind of gives you the accessibility to get to the get to the controls as necessary. It's not just a straight design up at the top. You can see that it allows you to reach in. Exactly. And obviously um, there's a ton of room. You know, you've got this huge pouch in the front. So when it comes to accessories and whatnot, there's even, you know, like a double section. So there's a section for things that you can put up in here and then another big bag area as well. There's a mm -hmm. lot of room for everything. There's tons of room for batteries. There's even room in the back. This is where I, I would assume this is where you could put some of your batteries. So they're resting around by your stomach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you have that extra pouch there too. If you just want to just get to the batteries to swap them out too, without gutting the whole back of it too. Oh yeah, you can just go right in here like that. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So. Oh, okay. What are these two straps right here for? One here, and one there. Um, looks like it could be for cabling purposes. You could mm -hmm. keep any kind of extra extra um, cables or. or um, That's true. You know, you guys, like you guys definitely take a, a lot of attention to detail that, you know, maybe someone like me doesn't all the time. Uh, but you know, if you like to keep your cables nice and neat instead of having just you know, 18 inches of cable flopping around in the bag, you could be wrapping it up in here and keeping it nice and formed for you. Yep. Yeah, you know, it's not going to keep your keep your pouches nice and uh, uh, clean. So yep. uh, it's it mean it's it's all organization. I mean, every every mixer that I that I've ever known, they they're very very meticulous um, about their bags. You know, it's it's organization. You don't want to be caught. And I would uh, even say bed, I would even searching say for meticulous hmm? and particular. You know, because everybody's different, and that's why yeah. you need a bag that's going to work for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough, and that's that's what Orca's done. You know, they've really been they've been been in the conversation for for thirty years with uh, dealing with uh, different mixers and professionals, kind of hearing feedback to really make something that's that gives that uh, gives you that customize uh, customizability, and uh, but still pr provides everything that you want. Also, um, even things you didn't know what you want. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, it's definitely key to be be organized, and, uh, and Orca knows that. So that's why you're gonna find all those little straps all over the bag, just for organizational purchase purposes. You know, just straps and pouches and anything. You can just tuck it away to get it out of your workspace. You know, there's a there's there's usually a spot for it if you're looking for it. Exactly. There's yeah. room for anything. So this is when you start working on those bigger shows where you need to be mobile and have all of your wireless with you. This is what you start looking into. It is heavier than the other bags. I also have the 888 in there, and that makes it heavy too. Um, but again, these are the types of you know bags you're going to wear with a harness. You might put down on a, a mobile cart and, and work that way as well. But it yeah. keeps everything, you know, ergonomic and efficient for your Yeah, yeah. You know, throw it on a mobile cart. And, uh, you know, we've got, actually, I think we will be getting to our cart soon. Oh, soon. We'll get to the cart soon. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Well, let's but, keep moving on. We've got the 32 sure. here. Why don't we go to the 34? Yeah, so the 34 is going to have, uh, you know, we can probably uh, just go over this one briefly because it's very similar to the 30 and the 32. Yep. Uh, it's just got uh, internal measurements that are kind of more particular to uh, other other mixers that uh, we hadn't mentioned before. So um, it's, In it's fact, just I kind of a general, notes. just kind of a general large size mixer. Um, kind of uh, works with everything, right? Yeah, yeah. This is, uh, you know, but you still want to have all the features, you know, you don't want to be left out with, with any of the heftier guys. So um, this has got all, all your main bag line features uh, that you love in the 30 and 32, just a little bit larger. Just a little bit bigger. Why don't we keep yeah. moving on then? Because, I mean, that one's pretty, uh, pretty basic. If, I mean, basically, if you don't know what mixer fits in the bag, you can pretty much think that that one, everything, <laughs> you know, almost yeah. pretty much, you know. So, yeah, you you know you, you with each family you kind of can you know gauge with the size you need based on the mix that you have, but um, if you don't want to tr be trying it out, uh, all the fantastic people at True can help you find something. There's also a, a bag finder on the Orca website as well that uh, can direct you. You just pop in the make and model of the mixer, and it'll give you any recommendation, and then you can just kind of pick if you wanted to do the low profile, something you know heavier duty, and any of the accessories that'll be compatible with it will also spit out for you as well 
Maybe so. you can get me a link of that and I can share it in the description for people too. Cause I think sure, it'll yeah. be a definite help for anybody that uh, doesn't want to watch the whole video. You know, the one thing that's great about this video is it's one video that people can search through and learn about every single bag. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's Here. keep moving on. So we talked about the 32 and the 34. Next we've got, which one? The 332? Yeah, so let's see. Just finished sending you the bag finder. So um, that's in your emails now. Okay. The 332, yeah, so these, um, the 332 is one of our newer bags. We just added it this year, uh, or I guess I should say last year in 2020. Um, this is uh, going to be... Uh, actually our largest audio bag that we've come up with. Uh, this is going to be specifically designed to fit the sound devices Scorpio, um, the 888 and the 688. Uh, so these guys are pretty massive. Uh, they uh, fit, but they're they're large enough where they fit the Scorpio nice and snug. Ugh. And that's the, that's the reason for it. Yeah. Here it is. Don't hurt yourself there. Yeah, right? No, I'm teasing Man. everybody. I mean, oh. it's it's big and bulky. It's got some weight to it, but, you know, it's not like, oh, my God, it's heavy. When I feel this weight, I apply that weight to a good, strong, sturdy build. I wouldn't want to have a $10,000 recorder or however much they cost in something that wasn't as strong built as this. Yeah, no, that's a that's a beefy guy too. And even if you put it into another bag, you know that it'll be secure in that audio bag as well. It's it's good for travel and and for production use. Um, exactly. That's what you know. That's the benefit of these durable bags. Is you can travel with them and, and feel safe. So um, I mean, obviously, it comes with the with the uh, uh, protector for the top for rain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It has. Uh, you see uh, inside, I think that's the shoulder strap you're pulling out there. Yeah, with the rubber grips. Yep. So a nice padded strap. You've got your 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 fo your. Um, your yeah, the mixer again. straps there. The Orca lifts there. Uh, the aluminum Velcro adjustable vel uh, Velcro uh, lifts. You got the padded lift underneath, just there. It's like everything. Velcroed in. There's actually a couple of them here. There's two of them that it comes with. Nice. Yeah. And it's got um, the straps again for mobilizing, yeah. like we talked about before. Yep. Yep, you've got your six points of access, the removable top handles there, yep. uh, the three points of uh, three points of access, the the silent uh, rubber loops on the sides. Uh, but the the really uh, the really big uh, difference between these and the other bags are going to be the f the four wireless pouches on the sides. Yeah. So you have wireless transmitter pouches but you have four now so you can uh, get something get all your all your channels covered but uh, super easy to uh, you know remove Thomas just swapped them no problem yeah, very quick very easily um, that front wireless pouch you have so you've got two on each side for a total of four wireless transmitter pouches that are all detachable and I love I'm gonna interrupt you for a second I love the fact that I don't necessarily have to open it this way when I just need a little bit, mm -hmm. you know yeah. what I mean? So it's, it's easy to be able to get your hand in there, but when you're doing a whole complete build, you're like, oh, no, 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 I want to go to town. Then you can mm -hmm. open this up and, and get, get down to the nitty gritty. But if you're just working and you need to just, you know, plug in a cable really quickly, you can do so. Yeah. Yeah. If you're just adding something into the bag, taking something out, but uh, you know, you don't have to open up the whole shop, you know, you mm -hmm. can just, access it really quick and you can do that on all the sides of the bags as well you can you know there's a quick access on the back and on the sides oh, very yeah. strong velcro it's very good feels good it's you know it's not just going to flop open on you you know even after years of abuse yeah i mean even the bad bottom of the bag is a nice sturdy material it's not like a just a soft fabric it's yep. going to be like i don't know if you tap it like you can feel that it's uh it's nice and, and sturdy uh, mm -hmm. underneath there Yep. Uh, is this little thing here to basically go around here like that? Yeah, okay. exactly. Copy. Just to lock it. You Just know. to lock it even more. So I could take this through here and be like, that is not coming out. Yeah, yep. you know, so you can sleep a little bit better at night or on set, whichever, <laughs> on set. Where, wherever you like to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Um, that's great. So this front pouch is killer. It's one of the largest front pouches that we have. This, uh, as you can see, has a small pouch on the front there. And then if you venture up towards the top, there's the large pouch up front that allows you to hold up to, I want to say four different, or up to, uh, sorry. You could probably fit up to four four different transmitters in there. Honestly, I think you could fit more than that. I think you're being very, uh, very gracious. Pos 
Possibly six, yeah. possibly six. I, I would say um, six, you know, like, cause yeah. you can hear you got one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, you even have section here. I mean, you could probably fit nine if you wanted to. Uh, the the fact is that you've got a beautiful front section where you can see in without even opening it. It can stay safe because, you know, think about it. If you don't have – if you've got eight wireless with you and you only have one of them on talent, you've got seven of them flopping around in the bag, and then there's dirt and elements and rain and stuff, you can keep your investment safe. And other people can see what's in here, you know, physically walk up to you, grab it, and shut it. Uh, it's just a very nice, clean system. You know, I think, uh, yeah. I think a lot of people don't understand like how important it is. It's not just about the equipment. It's about the accessories because the accessories really make you sing. They, they, they really turn you into the professional when you have everything in just the right place and you become more meticulous than the other sound mixer. Uh, it, things, things happen, things change. So just having a bag like this can change the whole demeanor of how you work. Yeah, I mean, organization is the name of the game. Um, with something like the Scorpio, you're going to have a lot of channels. You're going to be very meticulous about the way you route everything. And so once you have all your channels set in that front pouch, you really are not going to want to open it up to have to rearrange things or to see it. So it's nice that you can just set it and just view it without having to actually open it up or move anything. You know, it's you just uh, you, you set up shop and, and you're, you're ready to go. But um, this... Uh, you know, this is ideal for, for those very, very uh, large mixers that have a lot of channels that uh, you're going to be, you're going to be, you know, carrying a lot, around a lot of stuff. But you, the idea is that you're not going to be feeling it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, the Scorpios, it's, it, they're, they're big mixers, but, uh, you know, it, hopefully the, the bag uh, kind of makes it a little bit more, uh, more, more less cumbersome for, for when you're running around on set, you know, but or in your, your village or however you like to operate. Um, so uh, moving on, I think we can go on to the uh, to the brother, the sister of the OR332. The 334. Uh, yeah, so next is the 334. This is uh, specifically just for the Scorpio. Uh, this will also hold the Diva uh, 24, but uh, uh, this is going to be slightly slightly wider and shorter than the uh, 332. Yeah, it, um, it literally looks identical to the other one that we just showed, the 332, except it does feel longer. You're right. Because those mm -hmm. other, the recorders are a little bit bigger. You just want to have more room. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is just specifically for the Scorpio, whereas the 332 is going to be for the Scorpio plus accessories. So this is just like plus like, it's. I mean, they're they're both plus accessories, but uh, this one's kind of more 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 catered to to the Scorpio, and um, that's, you know, that's really mm -hmm. what I'm thinking about with this bag. I always try to think about you know the practicality of the bag, and when I look at something this big, okay, I look at this, I say, wow, this is massive. Like I'm I'm a six foot guy, okay, I'm gonna put it on my chest. This is gargantuan when you're walking around. Not that, you know, if I need this, that's definitely what I want if I'm going to have to fill up a bag and be mobile like that. But I guess what I see this bag more for, even or another possibility for this bag rather, is, you know, people that are just doing a lot of work on, you know, those portable carts that they've got to go around in the forest or you're doing crazy amounts of process trailer work and you need to fit a full sound cart worth of technology into a bag that is big enough but also small enough to fit on the process trailer right on the dash. You know, if I put this on the dash of that Ford F-350 when we're doing process trailer work, I'll tell you right now, I could fit everything that I need to be able to do my job and not be like, man, I miss my cart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I, I just love the fact that it's so big, but it's so organized that I can put everything everywhere and make it extremely versatile. It, it's literally a cart that I can put on my body or put anywhere and not have to bring the entire cart with all of the DC and all the wheels and wheeling things around. Um, it's the future right now. You know? Yeah, you know, you don't want to be bogged down just because you have a large mixer or you have a lot of equipment. You still want to keep your mobility. So uh, this is your ticket there. Uh, mobility. I, Good word. You know? Absolutely. You yeah. have to be mobile. And, you know, the thing is, you know, people on these sets, they don't want to wait for us ever. So we need to 
be prepared for that. And having a bag that maybe is just a little bit bigger but gives you the opportunity to have everything set up the way that you need it so you can be ready for anything that they say or call or do on set is great. I love it. Yeah, same. Well, uh, I guess now we can go on. Well, we've got the OR41 as well. Yeah, it's just the 41 and just two more bags, and I think we're good. Mm -hmm. That should be what we have planned. So uh, now we have the uh, next moving on is the uh, OR41. Okay. So this is going to be just kind of an all-around design bag for uh, – for just a general use mixer bag. Uh, this is uh, specifically designed in mind for uh, Zaxcom users, Zaxcom mixers, kind of that form factor. Um, but it's not, you know, it's not, uh, you know, it's not uh, specific to one. It's not married to one type of mixer. Um, so this is just kind of going to be like a nice uh, all around uh, option. I think, is it basically the OR41, the the biggest thing that it it just gives room for the antenna that comes out of the side of the Zaxcom mixers? It just kind of gives a little bit more form for that? Yeah, because a lot of people were having some problems kind of plugging in just right onto the side without kind of bumping into the side of the bag. And so we kind of realized that we needed to kind of make a wider bag that would allow for that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Because a lot were kind of having an issue either they would have to you know just the cabling was not kind of giving the the, the, the space they need so exactly you can see, you can pop in your zaxcom and you can either slide it on the way over to the to one of the sides to um or or keep it right in the, between but it should it should give you um all the space that you need so exactly so you know just yeah. again just once again, just helping make sure that the customers are taken care of. You know, they're, you know, Zaxcom made a few different technologies in their mixer recorders that, you know, made the one bag not 100% fit. So what did they do? They, they made one specifically for that recorder. So if you want to have that functionality and not be worried about that antenna on the side, you can do that as well. It's very, very good. So it's basically just mm-hmm. like the other ones, like the OR32, I'm assuming. Yeah, so it's audio mixer bag number four. So it sits in the family with the twenty-eight, the thirty, the thirty-two. So it just kind of sits in that uh, that range of features and in, in, in its form factor. But uh, yeah, it's it's a killer bag. Um, Orcas, you know, they they do everything they can to uh, to cater to to what you what you need. So um, always drop us a line. You know, drop me a line, and you know we're we're happy to make um, make something that, that makes everybody happy. So exactly. Um, Zaxcom for the uh, I mean Zaxcom users have been have been super grateful for the forty one mm-hmm. ever since yeah and so uh, now I think what we need to talk about is we've got our bag now you know uh, hopefully everyone that's watched this video uh, you you know all of the different bags that have come out from Orca as well as all of the different types of mixers and recorders that fit into them if you guys have any questions by all means please contact us at True Audio. We'd be happy to help you out. We have shops all over the USA and Canada, and we can answer any questions. And like Marcus said, we can even get the the cheat sheet off of their website, or we can help you as well here. We'd be happy to do it. But we got to talk about one more thing, which is sometimes it's not just about what you're carrying on yourself, because... Yes, we want to make sure that when we are rolling, we have everything with us that we need on any given day. But you don't want to be carrying everything that you may not necessarily need throughout the day. You want to have that in like an external case or something that's close by, but is not readily accessible all the time. So that's why you guys created the OR48, which I would love to talk about if you have a minute. Absolutely, yeah. The OR48, it's also better known as the Orca cart or Orca cart. Uh, so it's supposed to be a hybrid between a bag and a cart. Uh, so it's got all the durable, uh, durable makes of uh, any Orca bag. It's fully uh, aluminum supported, uh, specifically for uh, travel. It has all the spacing and uh, the uh, the form factor to allow you to uh, use it as a bag when it's lying down. You can open it up, organize your your audio equipment and everything you need for for uh, on set use. And then uh, once you get to set, you uh, essentially can take everything out of the bag, stand it on up, and uh, set it up with a uh, with a top tray to uh, kind of get your little your little village going. So 
you'll be able to set up shop on set and uh, then once you're all finished up you throw everything back in the bag and you can be ready to go without having to drive around a cart um, you have it all in one you have your bag and cart just one easy carry um, it's, uh, it's it's really uh, it's it's kind of trying to you know uh, minimize the footprint of this of what you have to take on set you know but uh, it's killer. The, the the top frame, the the top tray is uh, aluminum supported. You can pop on your laptop there, your audio bag. Um, inside, you have adjustable dividers. You have an LED light that allows you to see inside. If you're in a dark set, you know you're not going to be uh, you know you're not going to have any troubles looking for what you need. You've got headphone cable, uh, headphone uh, uh, holders included, cable organizers included, boom pole strap included. Uh, it's got uh, it's got trolley wheels underneath, so you can kind of roll it around luggage style. Um, but it's it's really uh, it's a really great tool. A lot of uh, a lot of people will throw in their orca orca bag in there, their boom pole, their harness, uh, everything else they really need, and uh, you know they'll, they'll be set. Um, it's it's all uh, you can. Uh, it's it's a tough it's a tough bag it's a tough bag it's a big a big bag but it's because it also doubles as your cart and uh, you know you just pull up your chair your favorite stool and uh, you know you'll have a nice little nice little home base for for site use yeah it's it's amazing that you can fit everything in there it can be completely organized the, the sound mixers that I know that have this system are some of the most meticulous and organized sound mixers they know where everything is at every moment and they just seem to work in a calmer setting. I'll just be honest with you. They just seem to be calmer because they know where everything is. And they know that it's safe. They can see because it's got lights so you can see it in the dark. Um, and the thing that I like about it too is that it's very, very low profile. When you're done shooting for the day or even when you roll up on set, you're just rolling this OR48 cart. just looks like this big case thing. And nobody knows what's in it. You show up to set, you unzip it, and there's your $100,000 package with everything in it that's perfectly protected. You lay it up, and now you've got your sound cart because it turns into its own cart that has all of its mm -hmm. area underneath. It's a, it's a very beautiful system, and I highly recommend you guys take a look at it. If you guys ever uh, are around in one of the true audio locations, we would love to show it to you guys up uh, up close. Until you see it up close, you won't really appreciate it as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's... Uh where it's fun venturing out into something that so no one's ever no one's ever done, and uh, it's been a really really popular item uh, for for just somebody that really needs to uh, set up something more permanent on set um, than just a bag, and uh, it's you know, it's 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 been a good uh, it's been a good uh, toy for us for sure, for sure. Um, and a great an excellent tool for for professionals. Absolutely, it's just nice to be able to put everything in one go to your job and come back home instead of lugging around, you know, so many multiple gears, a cart, a bunch of Pelican cases and whatnot. Throw it all in one and do it easier. You yeah, know? I let you know, a lot of people, they'll have like their cart and then they're like a separate bag on top of them. They're like, you know, we'll just... the three Pelican cases underneath when you don't even necessarily, you open the Pelican case, they may not even be fully full. You've got gear that's flopping around when instead they could get a couple of your nice OR cases that open like that and, you know, have, you know, one for their IFB, one for their wireless and have everything stored in nice and neat inside of the cart. Put your bag in on top of it, just like it shows in the picture and, and you're good to go. You know, it really allows you to consolidate a lot of your equipment a lot smaller in a smarter way. You know, you can fit your audio bag in there. You, you can absolutely grab, uh, you know, any of the hard shell accessory cases from Orca and, uh, you know, pop them all in there. Um, they're all, they all come in a variety of sizes so you can you know fit them in there however you need but uh you know it's 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 very it's super easy to carry around i've taken it i've used it i've traveled across the country with it and uh it's you know i feel safe it's pretty much like a, just a big old big old luggage but um and it's durable but, if they're throwing it around at tsa or whatnot on the plane it's not going to get broken yeah, no, no, no. I'm not worried about this bag and with TSA, that's for sure. You know what? Actually, it's, you bring up a good question. Why don't you talk to us a little bit more about the warranty of the Orca bag products? Yeah, um, or all uh, all Orca products have a two year manufacturer's warranty. Um, just for that covers any kind of uh, regular use wear, um, any kind of manufacturing you know, um, fall, uh, issues. Um, but yeah, two years, and uh, and uh, hopefully the bag will get you further than that.
but uh, we have spare parts for all the little guys, all the little uh, uh, parts that need replacement as well. Yeah, exactly. Like if a handle rips off or something like that, you can give them a call and they sh should be able to help you out with that relatively easy. Or you can contact us here at True Audio as well. Like I said, we've got all of our different locations standing by. And, you know, I got a, a frontline phone call right to Marcus. He picks up on the second ring for me. So <laughs> if you guys ever need something, I'd be happy to shake the tree too and, you know, get some help if you don't know exactly what the model number is of the handle and whatnot we can figure that stuff out for you and help you out um so okay so that helps with any of the things like you know if something happens like maybe somebody drops the bag out of a plane and it does dent the frame because it fell three miles to earth or something crazy i hope nobody's ever doing crazy jobs like that um but uh what about if you just have like cosmetically like let's say you were working at like blue cloud ranch which is like a really dusty like afghanistan type location in la um, when you go there, if you have this beautiful bag, it's going to come back completely like it fell in the mud, you know, cause it's so dirty up there. Um, mm -hmm. it's just dirt storms and dust storms. You have to wear goggles when you're working so you don't get in your eyes. Um, how do you clean these bags to get them to look like this again? Yeah. So, uh, you really want to just, uh, you can grab any kind of soap and water and like a brass bristle brush and, uh, for any kind of the light, light, uh, light dirt that's on there, you know, you can just scrub it off. Um, for the, uh, with the with the with the brass bristle, uh, for the vinyl portions like the rain cover, you really want to do something kind of soft, something that's not going to scratch it. But you can also use soap and water. Um, uh, if for like a lot of like the fabric material on there, you can use kind of like an upholstery cleaner just kind of for like a lot of the stubborn spots that aren't going to come out mm -hmm. um, like around but, here uh, you could rub it clean with like a upholstery cleaner yeah for like some of those fabric portions yeah right there exactly okay and then um you definitely don't want to you know no machine washing uh no dry cleaning um just uh the but you definitely just want to do soap and water with like a nice little bristle brush or upholstery cleaner. And at the end of it all, when you do clean your bag or before you go out on the field, uh, we do recommend putting on some kind of a, like a liquid repellent, liquid repellent, like a Scotch guard, like a 3M or something. So if you really want to just be preventative, you know, you just cover it in that and uh, it's been proven to, you know, keep That's up, that keep stuff up a lot that you that. get when you go get shoes or something at the shoe store and they ask you for that spray, something like that, that you could spray the coating on the bag before you put everything in it just to give it that protectant. Yeah, definitely a good, good, good idea. As soon as you get your bag, spray it down, you know, that's, that's something you can, uh, you know, that'll just keep it clean before, you know, before it even ever happens. But if it does come down to it, you know, just a slight scrubbing on the outsides, you know, nothing that's going to uh, scratch it, but uh, soap and water, and you'll be all set. Marcus, we have a question from Gear Up Alex. He says, does the OR30 bag fit well with the SD833 with SL2 Super Slot Module? Um, I can check on that for you. Um, I'm not 100% on the top of my head. Um... I do know that it does fit with the 833, so I'm not sure if it fits with the SL2. So the OR30, do I have the OR30 here? I think I do. I got so many. Yep, here's the 30 right here, Alex, so we can take a peek at it. So this is the 30. So, I mean, in terms of the 833, I've got the 833 right here. So I'm going to put it in. I'm not going to strap it down, but here's that. Now, I mean, I'm assuming you're talking about the thing that goes on top right here, the SL2 that mounts on the top, right? It kind of just covers up on top. I mean, if you take off the, yeah, you if you take, take out the dividers out. there, mm -hmm. you should be able to yep. fit it. I just, I'm not sure about the, the width of the bag uh, there. Um, yeah, so basically might be, if we just took this out, you know, you should have more than enough room to be able to put both in. Oh, yeah, that looks, yeah, Wait that more. definitely gives I mean, me that, I could fit two there. A33s in here right now. I'm not going to do it so they don't get scratched, but... Um, so hopefully that answers your question, Gear Up Alex. Let me know if it doesn't. And obviously, f feel free to send me an email afterwards, and you know I will uh, ensure with Marcus that that is correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Good question. Good yeah. Question. And um... well, I think we did it, Marcus. We we did a good Orca Day breakdown. I think we went through every single bag that's meant for audio engineers. So. This is a really good reference for everybody. Are, th are there any other things that you want to talk about, be it about any of the other bags, anything that they need to know about, anything that you're working on that you'd like to give a hint about, anything? Um, 
Well, I mean, I would just like to thank you for putting this all together. Uh, first off, Thomas, this has been really killer. It's been an excellent uh, educational um, resource and uh, you know, looking forward to doing it a lot more. Um, as far as the orca bags go, hopefully, uh, you know, we've answered a lot of people's questions and we've kind of, uh, just, you know, brought up, you know, brought up some uh, curiosity in a lot of other people. But, uh, you know, we have a we have a, we've got a lot more to cover as far as, you know, we can come back and talk about the accessories and everything else that Orca offers. Because this is just kind of scratching the surface of what, you know, what Orca has. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully in the near future we'll come back around, you know, we'll, we'll get some uh, with some games going and uh, we'll get to have some fun with the chat. And, uh, you know, this live stream business has been fun. It's been a good time so far. So um, from uh, from all of us at Orca and 16 by 9 uh, thanks for thanks for having us, Thomas. Well, and thank you. And thank you to everyone at home for joining us for this Orca Day breakdown. Again, this is a great video if you need to know what Orca bag works with any mixer recorder. So if you know somebody that's getting a new mixer recorder, send them this video because it's going to help them to break it down and just make it a little bit easier, more fun. Instead of stressing about what fits, they just get to get the one that they want and they can already enjoy getting out in the field and using it. So thank you so much. Please remember that we have all of our locations standing by. So if you have any questions about fitting the harness on you, what mixer or recorder works with your bag, any of our sales associates should be able to help you with this. And also, we have our True Audio Synchrony offer. So if you guys need to, we have a way to help you purchase your equipment now and pay a little later. You can receive up to 12 months interest free on your purchases up to $49.99.99. So if you guys have any questions, please feel free to drop us a line. Thank you so much for joining us today for our Orca Day Breakdown, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.